Hey guys, so today I got a smart uh, wristband. It's a pedometer activity tracker, sleep monitor type thing. I have not yet taken it out the box. Um, I only took it out the packaging from Amazon, which had several packages in it, so I couldn't really just do a straight up an unboxing. So with that being said, I'm going to open the box here, take a look at it, and give you my opinion along the way. So, very simple box design. You can see it's small. My whole hand can fit over it. The specs are on the back of the box. There's no tape on it, so I'm able to easily slide it the top off and open it. Looks like we have some instructions here. Um, all one side, I guess, Chinese, Japanese. Um, okay, and then on the other side is our English instructions. So apparently, um, that I'm going to need to charge it before I fully use it. They have instructions right here, just so you know, that's where I'm reading from. Um, and uh, there's also an app which I can scan the QR code or search smart wristband in the app store for Google Play or my app to download the app. So I'll look at that shortly. This is the device itself. Kind of looks like a little bow tie. Cute. For the USB. So, this is everything that has come in our box. Make sure y'all can see that. So I have the wristband, um, looks like the actual device itself, a USB drive, and a little, I guess an extra ring or some sort of protection for the device. So, let me see, so you have some plastic on the Cover, peel that off, just makes it a nice shiny gadget. And generally, these things just fit, you snap them right on. Zoom out a bit so it's not. But you see, you have the little rubber ring, you kind of have to work it around your device and snap it into place. Now, I'm not sure if I need to charge this first or what? Ah, had one side and the other side popped out. So getting this part in is kind of tricky, especially trying to do it on camera. There we go. So now that I got it in place, I'm pretty sure that'll stay nice and secure since it took a little bit to get it in. I mean, obviously if it's too easy, I'd worry about it uh, slipping out, but it's not the case, but let me show you right here. We have this is where you would typically charge your device, or it gets the sensor to, and you get the sensor as far as your activity goes on the back. So, just so y'all know, now I'm assuming this is the front right here. Let's see how we can we turn it on. So, I'm gonna turn to my instructions over here to see how we can turn this thing on. Oh. So I have it the right way. But I am not seeing. Okay, so to charge it, the, the USB right here actually is the prongs. So I would actually stick this on my watch. I'm, probably going to, there we go, so it, I can leave it on the wristband, I like that. Some chargers requires you taking it off the wristband. This one actually lets me keep the wristband on so I don't have to go through the hassle of taking it on and off each time. And plug this in, device in right here to let it charge. Because it don't, I don't think it's going to work. So I'm going to go ahead and get this charged up and I will get back to you guys uh, once I have a charged and working device. So while I'm waiting for the smartwatch to charge, I just want to show you how super easy it is to find and install the app. Um, at my Google Play Store, since I have Android, I was able to type in smart wristband, which you'll see in my search history here. And it's the first thing that had popped up 
and I was able to hit install. So it's going to take just a few minutes for me because I have apps updating currently in my store on my phone. But well, it's super easy to find, so should be a quick install process. And I uh, just wanted to point that out while we're waiting on the smartwatch to finish its charge so we can check out the app in the the smartwatch or smart activity band all together. Alright, so I am back with a charged uh, smart band here. And as you can see, I just touched this little, they have a little button looking thing right here on the front. If you're seeing lines, it this isn't actually doing lines. It's the camera catching the catching everything and kind of just scrolling through it. It doesn't do that. So I don't know if it's going to show that in the final video. But this little button right here is how you turn it on. So right now it's a black screen, but as soon as I touch it, you can see it's doing that. Let me try and turn this extra light off. It might be the light affecting. No, it's just the key. So, um technology does not work well with technology but anyway I have it shows the the time as well as my battery life the date I love that it actually synchronizes it tells me it's Friday it's the morning it's connected to Bluetooth and all that good stuff all on the watch so with that being said let's get to the app fairly simple it connected to Bluetooth with no problem. Um, I was originally going to connect everything th on the phone while, um, while actually filming, but I did not want to do that. And because in past experiences, I've had trouble connecting Bluetooth, and I just didn't need y'all to see any kind of hassles. But surprisingly, there was none. I was able to simply just turn on my Bluetooth and put the watch next to it and it connected there was no issues and I was concerned because the app shows like a 2.7 rating in Google and I'm not quite sure why because it connected very very easily and so far I have had no issues with it so as you can see it says my target is 4,000 steps I didn't really get into details of setting things up and then I've taken 12 steps and it tells me about calories being burned you know body weight, sleep habits. Obviously I don't have any sleep habits right now because I just set this up. So super simple to use. Go under exercise tab so I can start exercising. That's pretty neat. Get information about the device so I can get notifications, message notifications, you know. And then I can also get personal, fill out my personal information add a picture and stuff like that. So the app is super simple to use. The watch, very super simple to use. It seems intimidating at first because it is technology and technology isn't always on our side when it comes to setting it up and getting it used. And usually I toss that on to my husband. Luckily, this one I am able to do on my own. So if I'm able to do it, you certainly should be able to do it. Um, the watch is also I keep calling it a watch. Well, it is a watch, but it's a smart band. It's super simple to get on. You have a, the band right here. It's adjustable, so it's one size should fit most, if not all. So, super convenient. Uh, high quality. It's lightweight, so it doesn't weigh you down. So, overall, my experience is that the watch, um, super neat. Seems like it has a fast charge time. Um, the app is easy to install, it's easy to connect, and I look forward to using it and really getting to, to learn the watch and what all it can do, and hopefully I can get myself more active because I'm one of those people that, like, if I have a list of something and I see that list, I need to accomplish it. So if I have a goal of 4,000 steps and I'm see and I'm watching that number, I mean, I want to do more so I can at least achieve that goal if not exceed it so it's something for definitely beneficial for people like me to get me a little bit more active so with that being said um i'm gonna have a link in the description and i hope the video helped you out um you know it went from being kind of skeptical and unsure i to i'm pretty impressed and i look forward to seeing the end results so 
feel free to leave a comment and I'm happy to answer any questions to the best of my ability uh, as far as my experience with this product.